Hey guys, it's Tamara with Tamara S Designs, and today I'm going to go over how or what the differences are between working with an SVG file in Cricut Design Space versus working with a PNG file in Cricut Design Space, because there are some big differences. Um, so we're going to go over that because the files that I sell in my Etsy shop include both of those formats. So I want to make sure that everyone knows exactly what the capabilities are of each one of those formats. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have a file here that is a zipped file. This is how all of when you when you purchase an SVG from my Etsy shop, Tamara S Designs, your download will be a zip file. Um, what you'll need to do once you get that zip file downloaded is you'll need to put it on your desktop. So you'll take it out of your downloads folder and move it onto your desktop. You'll then right click, hit extract all, and click extract. That's going to put a separate folder on your desktop that is not zipped up. So when you see that, you can go ahead and delete the zip folder. You don't really need it anymore. When we open up our regular folder folder, we're going to see the five different file formats that come with each one of my designs. Um, those include a DXF file, an EPS file, a PDF file, PNG, and SVG. Um, depending on the browser that you use to download your file, sometimes your SVG might show up as an HTML document instead of an SVG file, and it'll have like the little Google Chrome icon right here. If that happens, that's completely fine. That is your SVG, so you can upload that and it will still function properly in Design Space. So you could see either one. Um, you might see the HTML or you might see SVG. They're both the same. Um, DXF is for Silhouette users who have the basic edition of de, um, the Silhouette Design Studio software. Uh, that basic edition doesn't accept SVG files, so a DXF file is what you use on that. Um, the EPS file can be used in Adobe Illustrator. It can be used in Silhouette Business Edition, among some other things. Um, I believe CorelDRAW, maybe. I think that's how you say it, CorelDRAW or Corel. I don't know how you say it because I don't use it, but I think it uses this type of file also. Um, the PDF file is just a printable file. A lot of my designs, um, people like to <clears throat> print them out on their home computer and like frame them hang them up in their home, set them in a little frame on their desk or something like that. So this the PDF file is perfect for that. PNG is just a basically an image with a transparent background. Um, all of my PNG files are high resolution 300 dpi so they're clean and they're crisp. They're really good for like digital scrapbooking and um, things like that. Or to even use this like clip art I guess if you wanted to. The last file is the SVG. Um, that's a scalable vector graphic file. Um, it can be sized up and down, doesn't lose um, resolution or doesn't lose quality at all, and it's made of paths. Um, all of my designs come in, a majority of my designs in my shop come in multiple colors. So the SVG is actually the way to go when you're uploading a file to Design Space um, that has multiple colors, and you're going to see why here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. And I do use the new version of Design Space. This is the new um, Design Space 3, which I think the majority of people should have. I think, th I think everybody had to upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. But I like it. It's decent. I don't really use it a whole lot. I, I design everything in Adobe Illustrator, but everything imports very cleanly over into Design Space. So we are going to go ahead and click Upload upload image and we're going to browse. I'm going to go ahead and upload the PNG file first and we're going to go over a couple of, of things that you'll notice when you try to upload it when you go to upload a PNG file. First of all here's here's your photo or here's your image. You're going to select whether you want it as a simple image, a moderately complex image, or a complex image. Usually I will just select the one that makes my photo look right. If you see I selected simple it took the white off of the wine glass right here if I hit complex, it, it adds it back on. So we're just going to go ahead and do a complex image. Hit continue. Now, 
If you're uploading a PNG, the background's transparent, the image is already clean, so you don't have to erase anything unless you really wanted to. Um, if you wanted to, say you wanted to erase these dots, you could. You could take those out if you wanted from here. Um, and you'll need to do that, and you'll see why. If, you, if there's something in the image that you don't want, just take it out here. I do want these dots because I'm going to show you guys how this works. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. When you hit continue, you have two options. You have, you can either save this as a print then cut image, which is down here, or you can save it as a cut image. And there's two big differences here. When you save it as a print then cut, what that's going to do is it's going to flatten out your image. Um, there won't be any cut paths on this image, so you won't be able to cut it using vinyl, um, HTV, or anything like that. It's going to flatten out your image for you to be able to send to your home printer. You would print that image out, run it back through your Cricut, and then Cricut would cut around the design for you. So that's your print then cut. It's usually not what you want to do with an SVG. Um, unless, well, I mean you can, but um, if you're using vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, that's not what you want to do. So the PNG is a cut image, or over here, I'm sorry, this side is a cut image. As you can see, it is all one color, all gray. Now, this is the one we're going to go ahead and pick because we want to cut this out with vinyl, for example. Say we're going to cut this out with vinyl. We're going to hit save. Here's my image. I'm going to click in, click the image and click insert. And here it is. Okay, so here's the here's here's what a PNG looks like when you upload it to Design Space. A um, couple of things. One thing, it's all one flat color. There's only one option over here. If you want to change the color on this, it's going to change the color of the entire design. You, you can't separate the elements and change them. So if you upload a PNG as a cut image, this is how it's going to cut. Um, no way around it. You're not going to get the colors. You're not going to get the different layers. Now we're going to go in and we're going to upload the SVG file. So a big difference here between this and the PNG file, when you upload an SVG file, this is the screen that you're going to see. You're not going to get the screen that asks you, do you want a simple image? Do you want a complex image? Um, or, or it's not going to ask you, do you want it to be a print then cut or a cut image? This is it. So you upload it as an SVG, your image shows up here, and you click save, and that's all you need to do. Super, so much easier and so much simpler and faster, especially if you have an image like, like my designs don't need to be cleaned up in design space, so there's really no, no reason to use the PNG in design space unless you had a specific reason for using it. So let's go ahead and um, add the SVG to our project. Okay, some major differences here. You can see first big thing is that it's all in color. Um, you've got your your different colors. You got your blacks, your reds. You got your white. You see several different groups over here in the on the right hand column. So to change these elements, you would just click your design and click ungroup. And this will allow you to change the color of. Let's just say we wanted to change our letters to um, green. So there we go. We changed our letters to green, but we want to keep everything else the same. So we're good. Um, it will also allow you to change the color of these little accent dots if you wanted to. If you want to change the color of the wine glass, the wine glass is its own separate little group. Just click it and click on group. And then you will have your different wine glass elements over here in the right hand corner. So you have your white, you can change it to another color. You have your red, you can change it to another color. You can change the outline of the wine glass. I don't want to do any of that. so. I'm actually going to group all those back together. Okay. Now, 
once you've you've got the colors how you want them, if you've deleted elements or anything like that, just click make it and cut your project. Simple. It'll it'll split it out onto the different colored mats for you. If you say that you wanted these dots to all cut out in the same exact order that you see them right here because you just want to be able to lay them all on your design at one time and have them line up perfectly. If you want to do that, <clears throat> just ungroup your whole image like you did at the beginning. Select each group of dots and click attach. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you do that and you click make it, you'll see that your red mat will have the dots in the exact order in the exact locations where they need to be so you can just lay it flat right on top of your design and they will be they will cut exactly where they need to cut so that you can have your design look exactly like this so that's basically it those are the major differences so you can you have a lot more capability with an SVG in design space than you do with a PNG so I highly recommend that that's the one that you upload into design space when you're working with the files um, that are in my shop. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Etsy. You can comment on the YouTube video or you can find me on Facebook. And uh, happy crafting.